the bam and welcome everybody to inscription uh so today i'm gonna show you a uh, just a red hot red hot strap that is kind of a guaranteed win well it's not quite guaranteed i'm gonna say this is a very very good chance of winning if you've been struggling with this game at all i think i can uh can 100 help you uh we're going up to level 10. uh we have challenges honestly doesn't really matter what you take uh, you're limited to one life. Perfect. Uh, we only ever need one life. Uh, stronger opponents. Great. Sure, do both of those. Uh, regular bosses give regular cards. Sure. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, your squirrels have the waterborne sigil. Sure. Why not? And, uh, what else do we not care about? Traps pelts. Okay. 100 points. Doesn't matter. Pretty sure you could just turn them all on and it would be absolutely fine. Let's jump on it. Okay, so we're starting out with the Mantis God, who is basically the guy who's going to be winning this game for us. And let us see how this goes. So there's a couple of cards that we're looking for, and I'll kind of explain how this build is going to work as we go along. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so most importantly, we do not want to be taking any one-cost creatures at all. Uh, it'd be nice to get some more fun abilities, but sure, Rat King and an Alpha, why not? As long as they're not one cost, we're absolutely okay. And we're gonna go to a bonfire. Now, it has the bite power. So this is the point where it can get a little bit spicy. Uh, we have to uh, buff the Mantis God, and I have to buff him again. If he dies, the run is over. Absolutely fine. Right, we're, we're set up. We now have the pieces that we need to win this game. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, so, the dream is going to be... Uh, oh, Aqua Squirrel. Uh, every single fight, um, even though the enemies are buffed and uh, they've got all kinds of extra tricks, the Mantis God is going to win every single round of combat in a single round. As he swings for 9 damage now. Absolutely perfect. Oh, nuts. I actually goofed. <laughs> we already kind of goofed it. But, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, right. We don't want one costs. Uh, two costs is fine. Honestly, anything else is fine. Uh, right, the woodcarver. Uh, we don't super need any of these. We'll take a, uh, a snake. And go into another fight. Hello. Okay, right, luckily our deck is still pretty lean, so we can still kind of consistently get the Mantis God. Bonk, bonk, bonk. We have won the fight. Oh, nuts, I was supposed to use an item. Okay, <laughs> don't even, don't even worry about it. Uh, we can't have this many items on us. It's not good for the game. Sure, give me a rabbit pelt. Uh, should not matter. Should not affect us. Okay, right. Now, whatever this is, we are going to try and feed them a worm. We want the worm to be dead. Excellent. Okay, this is already going very, very well. Uh, so, we have fed these guys one of our ringworms. Which means now, we only have two one-cost creatures in the deck. Which is kind of the dream. Because there is some kind of mechanic in this game where I'm not 100% certain on how this works, but you will always start out in your opening hand with a card that you can play. Um, originally, I thought this was just you can have a one-cost card in your hand. Uh, we don't want any of those. The alpha is honestly not terrible to take to have a dupe. Uh, okay, right. We don't want one costs. So, you're always going to start out with a one cost card. Uh, who do you want to do? Honestly, this guy is probably the best. Uh, because health or uh, damage, damage is perfect. Uh, so, because we fed the, uh, the survivors um, a ringworm and they ate it, uh, they now die, and so we can freely use that. And now I know some people like to use that that um, ability 
to be able to clean out cards from your deck. But, the way we're going, we do not need to clean stuff out of our deck. Uh, oh, do you want to take a Bugulon? Or, sure. Give me the uh, Fecundity. Because uh, that's a good ability. Um, we'll try and get the, uh, the bug head later, because that will actually help us a lot. But yeah, so uh, instead of uh, using the sacrifices to clear out uh, stuff from our deck, um, we are just going to use it to permanently buff this one card, because where we're going, um, it doesn't matter how big my deck is. As long as we can always start out with the Mantis God, uh, we win the game. Blammo. Take that. And now that it does five damage, we're in a very we're in a safe situation. We can get through every single boss fight now with uh, just this guy attacking. And what are we doing? Um, right, buy that, buy that, and uh, sure, give me a card, and bonk bonk. Got the kill. I, man, I really need to be using some items. I just, I'm just so excited to be killing that I'm not actually spending my spending my stuff. Okay, so we can run into problems. That an issue that can come up. Once again, these are these are all like kind of mechanics just based on like a little bit of experimentation that I've done. But I feel like if you don't have that many one cost cards, the game will try to give you more one cost cards. Not entirely sure if it's true, but I feel like it kind of is. Uh ooh, do we just take the coyote? Because if we roll again and we get three ones, that actually causes us a lot of problems. So I'm gonna take the coyote. and sacrifice. So at this stage, the smart play is just to get rid of the ringworm, but actually getting a one cost and trying to combine it with a magpie to have a search mechanic uh, could be good, but we're just gonna kill the ringworm off. So for the time being, I'm guaranteed to have one cost cards in my hand. Uh, an issue that can come up is uh, if we ever get into a situation where we're forced to take uh, take some cards, they they could just give us three one costs, and that was a big problem. Okay, right, squirrel, go, mantis god, uh, you turn up. Um, I am just gonna pop the pliers because I think they're probably the least useful for me. Ow, there's a tooth, and blammo. Uh, although we're getting a load of teeth, I'm never gonna be spending those teeth. Does not matter. Uh, adding cards, adding stuff, not an issue. Right, where are we going to go? Probably the right-hand side. Uh, because I don't have enough dupes. Uh, sure, give me a pelt. Do not need it. Okay. We're gonna sacrifice what ability do we like the look of being put somewhere else? Let's get rid of the elk and make the bird move. I don't tend to love the uh, the moving ability mainly because I forget that I've got it, and that's a that's a big problem for me. Right, fight. Uh, so assuming everything is working, Mantis God will be an opening hand, and we can get down to business. Great. Here it is, we have a one cost. So, there are other other kind of like little mechanics going on in this that, once again, I'm not entirely sure if it's true or if I'm just making stuff up just to sound cool. But the, if you sacrifice too many creatures, your starting amount of stuff, let's take a double. Okay, we've got another elk. So if we take doubles, we're kind of fishing for getting a magpie in our hand. What do we want? A black goat is probably not a terrible choice, just in case things go wrong. Uh, but, pretty sure, pretty sure it won't. But yeah, if you sacrifice more creatures, then you'll start out with two bones, at which stage, suddenly, you might be able to pull a two bone cost creature at the beginning. Like, I'm sure I've seen it happen. And in turn, there's a guy called Gek who also ruins this plan. 
because uh, I just think the game is trying to make you always be able to play something turn one. And we don't want anything else that we can play on turn one, only the Mantis. Okay, right, what have you got for me? Uh, would love a Magpie. See, Black Goat, normally, love the Black Goat, but don't want it. Doesn't matter what we take, just as long as it isn't a one cost. Uh, I'd love some health, please, but honestly, getting this guy to six attack is going to come in useful very, very much on the final boss. And, oh, great, we've got health. So now I don't have to worry about spikes. We're, we're in a great situation right now. It's going very, very well. And as you can see so far, none of the buffs uh, or debuffs that we've taken from the difficulty level are coming into effect at all. Okay, this is the only time when it can get a little bit spicy because he will kill my Mantis off. It'd have been great to have an ability. Uh, so we're actually gonna wait a turn. And we're not going to die, I don't think. So I think we just take stuff. Okay. So in the dream world, if we can get a... Uh, what was it? Like the cockroach? So every time this guy dies, he'll come back to my hand. Or if you can get the fecundity onto him, uh, that is real good uh, as well. Nice, okay, we've got some stuff. Yeah, coward, that mule's defenseless. So the reason I didn't deploy off to the side there was because I am... I want to get as many cards to be able to play as physically possible. So I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna take this. Uh, we are gonna win this round. But sadly, Mantis God is going to die. Ripperoni, my my dear friend. Uh, if we had set that up a bit better, maybe I even missed missed an opportunity to take it. But he's gone. Uh, but we might still be able to do this. I think we've got five damage. Uh, let's just take this because if we get not that, uh, there's four there. I think that we're probably fine. I might need to sacrifice more stuff. Sure. Here we go. Have an elk. Uh, don't want a rabbit pelt. And the rattler. Great, we've got our five damage. Maybe I should have played something. Let's just grab a squirrel, just in case. Uh, the only reason I'm taking that squirrel is just to make sure that my uh, items aren't full at the moment. So it doesn't even matter if we pick up a pack rat. Okay, please don't give me three one-value cards. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. Take you. Okay, right. We didn't. We didn't just do it with the Mantis God, but you know it's going okay at the moment. Uh, where do we want to be? Do a trade. Uh, I've entered the wetlands. Go up there, get items. Probably fine. I think it's safer than that route. Uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, what do we want? Honestly, like three costs, two costs, any of that stuff is kind of fine. Wolf and a bird. Uh, so I'm kind of still trying to avoid uh, getting too many two-cost two cost guys. If you've got the bug head right now, problem solved. Problem solved. So now this means if we ever play the Mantis God and somehow he dies, uh, we're going to be fine. Because every time I play him, he is going to reappear in my hand, which is super good. Well, the first time I play him, he reappears in my hand. Not every time. There's the Mantis God. Now he has the... Uh, how do you even say that? Fecund fecundity. And Mantis God turns up and saves the day. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Thank you, Mantis God. You're my hero. Very good. 
Well played. Look at all those teeth. Do not even need them. Okay, right. Once again, we are not wanting a one cost. Cockroach, perfect. Love that. Love to see it. And... Items are okay. Oh, we want the teeth now. Let's take a squirrel. Just in case. So the sacrifice would be really good. Duping the Mantis God could be great. Uh, what I might do is still stick to that left-hand lane. Okay, they've got a snack, but do not worry about it because... Oh, look who it is. The Mantis God. Seeing as he's the only uh, playable card that we have. Well, the only playable creature outside of, you know, our basic uh, squirrels. Aqua squirrels, as they're known in the business. Look at all those teeth. Getting a lot of money. Uh, do not need it because we're never going to spend it. Okay, the only reason I'm going to come here, normally I would avoid coming to the animal selection, but because we've got a sacrifice available, we could instantly clear it out. Um, otherwise, I'll just dupe the Mantis God just in case. Uh, and what I'm ideally looking for is birds. I want birds here. All bad. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, see. Look, we got a flying ant. So I really think that they try to give you low-level creatures. So the reason why I'd normally go for a bird is basically every single bird... Oh, jeez. So we have to get rid of the ant. I'd have loved to have been able to put the cockroach onto my boy, but... The ant has to pay. Uh, and it really doesn't matter where that goes. Sure, put on the grizzly. Uh, so if we had got a bird, then there's a chance that we could have got a magpie out of that fight, which would have been great. And if we had that, then, you know, you can always put the magpie search ability onto another level one creature. That just means that you now have two level ones. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. We got him. I was worried that we had messed this up somehow. Um, or, uh, if the game does give you a level 1 bird, basically every single level 1 bird does have abilities, and so that means you can sacrifice them as well. You just gotta be careful of getting other level 1 creatures that might not have an ability, which is... I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm sure they exist. Uh, right, I think we can just go here, get an item... We'll get the pack rat, doesn't matter. And then we'll do a sacrifice. Uh, give me two costs. It's a wolf. Great. Uh, still hoping for that magpie, but we do not need him. You're going to give me a little rat friend. Hello. Once again, does not matter about adding cards to the deck, because we're never going to play any of them. And so normally, I'd say you've got to really avoid getting cards in your deck, but... Uh, not today. Okay, you are going into the Mantis God. Now, I don't think that we can run into any problems anymore, but we are absolutely fine. Super duper safe. So when we make it to the final boss, the final boss is going to be dealing more damage to us, but seeing as we're going to get so many, uh, so many attacks out of the Mantis anyway, um, we don't really need to worry too much. And because we managed to buff its health by killing off the guys earlier. Oh, shoot. They actually have uh, starting starting buckets. Is that a problem? Wild. Okay. He, I'm not sure what triggers him to start with bait buckets, but it sometimes happens. Uh, you know what? Let's just throw that down. We could waste a squirrel. What's going to happen here? I'm going to attack and kill him. I'm going to reveal that. Okay, this kind of changed my plan the tiniest little bit. You know what? Just, just give it to me. Om nom 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 nom. Have we goofed this? Go fish. Uh, we're fine. Sure. Uh, just for safety's sake, I'm going to play a second Mantis God. Uh, we don't need to, but we can. Go fish! Okay, we're fine. I just did that, just to make sure. Uh, we have the spare item, and we probably would have been fine killing him. 
Uh, but sometimes, you know, they don't clear the board of enemies and things like that, and I, I forget what's going on. So that's kind of just being safe. Cockroach is good. Oh, they're all good. Sure, give me another cockroach. Uh, but, not going to need it. Let me see. Uh, have we made it to the end? Sacrifice something, do a thing. Honestly, none of this matters because we do not care. <sighs> Kill pack rat. That guy always winds me up. And stick it on. Sure, the wolf up. Great. Uh, wolf up. Ate a rat. And now he has a bag for a head. And uh, blammo. Okay. Oh, how I relish this moment. Uh, perfect. Howdy, partner. So, assuming everything has been played correctly, uh, Mantis God should be in our opening hand. There he is. Uh, so, one of the reasons why I wanted to get the Mantis God to 5 attack is... Uh, so I know he's not 7, but if you can get him to 5 attack, it means that you can win this opening round of combat against the Mole Man in a single round. Because 2 attacks will hit the Mole Man, then the 3rd will hit Leshy himself, and uh, you'll win in a single fight. Blammo. Uh, next turn, he is going to try and play uh, some people. But does not matter, because we are going to win this fight in one attack. Bonk, bonk. And then next up comes the moon, which I guess we can actually play a second Mantis God, because we've got Fecundity on him. And we'll kill the moon in a round of combat, and everything's fine. Does not matter what I take. Like, just completely ignoring my entire deck. So this has been very clean. We got the uh, the unkillable and fecundity, which just works perfectly. But bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, very nice. We killed your moon. Give me a card. And holy moly, that is a lot of damage. All those teeth. Uh, pal, okay. So, uh, yeah. Four misplays. Sure. I'm not entirely sure where the misplays were. I feel like it all went pretty smoothly. Maybe I didn't need to play second mantises at time, but otherwise, uh, blammo. We did it. Uh, so there you go. That's, uh, that's my new strap that I've been using. Um, I found it be to be very, very consistent. Uh, you can go a little bit wrong if you don't get enough fires at the beginning. Uh, it's pretty sad times. You need to get rid of your ringworms as fast as you can. And if you accidentally get your mantis uh, killed before getting the ringworms uh, out of there, then, uh, yeah, bad, bad times. So, uh, boom! I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little, uh, little way of playing the game. Um, I've been playing a whole bunch of this recently and uh, just kind of stumbled upon that, and I thought maybe you'd enjoy it. Until next time, everybody. See ya.